Okay, so I'm not even going to cover this. What is digital blackface and why is it wrong when white people use it? Okay, this is, I'm not going to cover the actual, the, the actual like article itself, but the intention of the article, which, you know, reach the desired outcome. I'll just say it like this. It was rage bait. It is exactly what that is. And it worked. It is not a new article. It's like basically a carbon copy of teen vote clicks from like 2015 it's an article from a bygone era here's alex friend of the show low an option correctly calling it out he said 4.5 million views on this compared to 150k on everything else they post 5,000 quote tweets and half of them took longer to type than the article this is how you do engagement bait 8.1 million now stories about the tornado are lucky if they break 100k the wokies at cnn are reading right now they hate when a story like this gets too much engagement yeah, it just served up a big fat ratio of the Bozo News Network. This is a cynical deployment of literally just the dumbest form of identity politics, okay? They are just doing bait. They're doing bait. Their goal is to get you to get angry. Their goal is to get a bunch of right-wing psychos to just talk about this and only this and nothing else. That's it. It's idiotic. There's no basis in this. There's no material harm. There's no real black grievance being addressed. I don't care if like real black people, especially black academics or, you know, people that write for the root.com decide to make this like a genuine fucking problem, even though they usually won't even do that now. You know what I mean? This is like a 2015 era. Ultimately, no one cares about this shit. Okay. No one, no one, no one, no one. You have to be motivated. You have to be motivated and conditioned. That's it. The internet is literally what an anti SJW YouTuber does is embarrassing. It's just the opposite side. It's the opposite side of the fucking stupid, idiotic, nonsensical, unproductive SJW rage bait cycle. You can say mid take to be honest, all you fucking want all day, every day. I don't care. Maybe because I'm white and privileged, but if you think that this is the foremost, most important, or even like a legitimate fucking struggle. If you think that this is a legitimate, if it's like causing material harm, you are fucking insane, okay? You are also privileged if you think that this is causing material harm. Nobody is talking about reparations. Every article like this moves away from reparations. The real conversation should be in some meaningful capacity, talking about material restitution for all the harms that were done to black people in this fucking country, okay? No, this isn't a rage bait. I'm switching this to a productive conversation, okay? It is the exact opposite of what this rage bait is intended to do. The reason why this article exists is to get people angry about it and only talk about the boundaries that the article is setting. I'm moving, not even touching the article and moving away from the boundaries of the article. Do you understand? That's it. There is no purpose that this solves. No purpose that this solves beyond just getting people to hyper-focus and laser in on Twitter shit. The article itself is Twitter shit. That's it. Just say you don't, you want to use the Rip Bozo, give us on. I don't give a fuck. Like I have zero, and I mean zero fucking consideration for like the ethical nature of using the RIP Bozo gift or anything like that. No, I don't care. <sighs> this kind of stuff is really stupid. It's a byproduct of uh, it's a byproduct of living in a multicultural society like the United States of America. This is uh, always going to happen. There are real conversations to be had about culture vulturing and never offering uh, material restitutions to black people for the culture that they've created. This is not even one of those things, okay? It's just so fucking stupid. It's so dumb. Shit like this pops off and people hyper-focus on it. Do you want to know why? Because just like every other marginalized group of this country, black people have no power. But what do they do? Some, I mean, most black people don't give a shit about this, but the ones that do on Twitter that take this seriously and like bring it up as a, uh, as a point of contention or as a discussion are doing it because they are powerless. They are also engaging in debate. They're powerless. They recognize their powerlessness in the face of unchanging systems. So they turn around and uh, talk about this and duke it out, make this be the most important uh, point of contention or even a point of contention at all. Okay. You can't tell black people what is or isn't a point of contention though. Yes, I can. I am literally a political commentator. I have black members in this community and I tell them shit all the time. Yes, I can. And I will, and I will keep doing it. I don't care, okay? I don't care. It's the same 
argument over and over again. You can't tell trans people whether or not like boycotting Hogwarts legacy is an effective fucking form of, of uh, protest. No, I, I can and I'm going to keep doing it. And there is literally nothing you can do about it. Here's one thing you can do about it. Try to internalize what I'm saying. Try to understand whether or not I'm coming at this from a place of honesty instead of some other nefarious purpose. Instead of immediately cynically trying to figure out why I'm taking this position and maybe even making up assertions like, oh, he just wants to use black gifts and move on. Oh, he's another privileged white guy who doesn't care about black people's issues and, you know, make yourself feel like you're in the right instead of doing that and then hitting me with a the standpoint theory bullshit. Like, oh my God, well, my lived experience shows that I've been genuinely oppressed by this kind of thing. Instead of doing all that, just think for a brief moment, be a little charitable, okay? Be a little charitable. Yes, I recognize my privilege. I recognize it all the fucking time. I talk about it all the fucking time. I uh, oftentimes will have a little bit of a blind spot in uh, in terms of things like this. But if you personally think that this is like anything remotely important, remotely significant, you're you're crazy. Well, if a white man says no one should care about this, then as I as a black person could just go fuck myself, I guess. You're bringing this up because you immediately see the same cycle of oppression play out in front of you. This seems like another moment, right? where a white person is telling you how you should feel. Sometimes that white person is right. This is that moment. It's not like I'm telling you that like a hate, it's not like a hate crime happened and I'm telling you to fucking look away. I can walk and chew gum at the same time. I can be upset about police violence against black people and digital blackface. No, digital blackface is when a white person uses black culture in a predatory fashion to make themselves, to make other people believe that they're black digital blackface is that it's not fucking you know responding with like a beyonce gift like a, a, a annoying liberal wine mom which is cringe in and of itself but who cares that's it there is no material harm being caused by that please stop and now your white chat is laughing at this person stop there are black chatters that are also laughing at this person the community is laughing at this person because it is a laughable notion if it's not a real problem then why do you clear why do i cover it because it goes against solidarity and movement building. This is something that I talk about quite frequently. Why? Hyper-focusing on idiotic, nonsensical problems when very real problems exist. When we're trying to make an argument as to building a class-conscious movement that works towards trying to create any kind of material restitution for marginalized communities and then hyper-focusing on idiotic, sectarian infighting on racial boundaries created by fucking liberals is at the heart of eviscerating any kind of leftist momentum. So of course I'm going to cover it. I'm talking about both media literacy. I'm talking about the, the nefarious purpose why these kinds of tools and tactics are deployed from the media. Oftentimes I will give you historical reference to the CIA literally adopting these techniques that we do to ourselves nowadays anyway. But go ahead, go ahead. It works. General interference with organizations and production. Talk as frequently as possible and at great length. Bring up irrelevant issues as frequently as possible. Haggle over precise wordings. Refer back to matters decided upon at the last meeting and attempt to reopen the question and advisability of that decision. This is literally, I can't tell if this is a fucking uh, gray name chatter protocol list or if it's, a, if it's a list from back when the FBI would infiltrate revolutionary movements and revolutionary groupings specifically. Just to be clear, you have banned emotes that have been used in racist ways just so chatters uh, know. Mods. Can someone with Nightbot access uh, ban Kamambra? If I see this f triggered. Four years ago, I made the decision to ban uh, a bunch of the black emotes that are utilized on this platform because of the way that chats used to fucking utilize them, okay? And at the time, people were making fun of me, saying I'm triggered for this. Fucking emote one more time in my goddamn chat, dude. And, and try Hex, too, and, and try hard too. I'm banning them. You fucked up. Try hard and Kamambra is gone. You fucking idiots. You absolute fucking morons. God damn it, I hate you so much when you do this shit, chat. I hate it so fucking much. You're like 12 years old. Oh, you said Nicaragua! It sounds like that bad word! And, and it still happens in a lot of other places, okay? But, you know, I, I, have, I have taken the, the, the uh, effort. Yeah. It was banned because it was racist dog whistling, not because those emotes are racist on their own. The problem isn't the emote, it's the people utilizing it, exactly, for racist reasons and for racist purpose. A lot of you have never been in communities like that, so you have no fucking idea. A lot of you were not even on Twitch at the time, so you have no fucking idea. Anyway, it's just so stupid, and everybody fucking made fun of me at the time. But hey, that's precisely the reason why B Grimes is an 18-month subscriber and takes for granted these kind of protections that are 
obviously understandable and expected, but that should also allow you to be a little bit more charitable when I'm talking about issues that pertain to nonsensical bullshit, rage bait derived by liberal ass CNN. Like, don't take the bait, hook, line, and sinker. That's it. I'm not trying to get timed out again, but that is literally the same combo I was only trying to bring up. No, it's not the same combo. That is the entire point. If that was the exact same combo, we would fucking literally ban the multitude of different black gifts and emotes that we have that we utilize on a daily basis in the chat, okay? Whether it be AAVE, like ain't no way, which is utilized super fucking, uh, uh, super commonly, or RIP Bozo, you know what I mean? Like there are a million different examples of this, okay? It's just so stupid to have this issue be brought up in this kind of space. Or yeah, Dono Wall, LeBron Jam, Drake, do not come. And if it was utilized, if it was utilized in a racist way, that we would ban it. That's it. Also, black culture is monumental for American culture. Black culture is literally everything. It is it is damn near the entirety of American culture. Every part of American culture that is not rooted within racism is rooted within black culture. That's it. Anyway. The reason why I talked about this, though, is because it is uh, weaponized and deployed by liberals and reactionaries alike in an effort to cause division. I saw a tweet the other day talking about how I, I, I guess I like jokingly talked about woke segregation or something. And another person was responding to it being like, oh, no, Hassan came out as a fascist a long time ago. True. I've literally some seen some leftists call you a reactionary reactionary yes the reality is you would fucking perish your worldview is not habitable it's it's also uh, rooted within delusion if you look to someone like myself and consider me to be a reactionary who has been advocating for the same fucking things for 10 goddamn years on the internet and consider me to be in any way shape or form you know right wing i i don't know you know you're just delusional 